Hey guys, I just want to share another uh, radio in the collection. Um, a friend of mine found this in an antique store in the window. I think it was last week or week before last. And uh, sent me a message and asked me if I'd be interested in it. And I've got a few other miniature sets. I think I've got some Arvins and uh, some Silver Tones. And I said, uh, you know, why not? The price was right, so I had him uh, pick it up for me. Um, you can see it's one of the old uh, metal cases. It's uh, painted ivory. And, you know, just based on the photos, I think it's a model 402, but uh, it may not be. Because uh, when I was looking at the 402 schematic online, I thought it was a three tube set. And I think this has four tubes. So we'll pop the cover. I have not done that. Uh, we'll take a look at it together and uh, see if we can figure out exactly what model number this is but uh, it's really one of those neat uh, radios and I think a lot of them in this uh, period used a, a floating ground because again you got this ma uh, metal chassis and uh, you don't want that to be hot so I don't know if it used a, a ballast tube or a dropping resistor or, you know how that's done we'll, we'll again we'll try to match up the tube uh, complement to the correct uh, schematic and figure out exactly what model this is. So let me grab a screwdriver here, um, get these knobs off, we'll take the back out and pull the chassis out. Okay, we'll try to do this on uh, camera and I'll try to make it fast so I'm not uh, just burning up a lot of time here. It's just got one little set screw. For the uh, tuning indicator. There we go. These knobs sometimes can be extremely fragile. So. Right, this one's wanting to be stubborn and not come off. Let me uh, grab something real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, let's see if I can uh, use this to get it off. If not, there's another method that we can use. Man, that's really stuck on there, but it appears to... There it comes. These come in handy. Anyway, get these knobs over here. We'll take a look at the back here. Looks like it's only got one screw here holding it in place. This So no markings here. And uh, looks pretty clean. I'm not sure if that's rust or not. Yep, there is some rust on there, unfortunately. And some inside. And it's like I've got some labeling here, so we'll take a closer look at that. We may be able to pull the model number right off of that, but um, looks like we do have uh, four tubes. So let me get these... Uh, fasteners here out on the bottom. We'll pull this chassis out and take a look at it. I always love doing this. These are the exciting times here. You're uh, trying to get the chassis out for the first time. Man, it's a tight little fit in there too. All right, let me just set that off to the side and we'll take a closer look at it. Huh, so that's interesting. Check out this uh, output transformer just sitting there on uh, one screw mounted to the uh, speaker. Uh, I was hoping this thing would just be like a real quick uh, repair. So I do have uh, what appears to be four tubes there. 
and uh, man not going to be a, a quick repair a lot of rust there on the old tuning condenser as well let's see what the underneath looks like well, that should make for some fun uh, real simple looking design though very few uh, capacitors uh, again all these are wax caps And the uh, bottom of the chassis is uh, interesting looking. Not sure if I've seen one like that or not. It's like a uh, metallic coating. Uh, it was probably done for uh, heat, would be my guess. So it looks all original underneath, best I can tell. Let's pop these tubes out here and see what we've got. Then we'll try to match it up here to uh, the correct schematic let me just check this speaker as well looks like a, a little three and a half or four inch four inch all right let's look at these uh, tubes here closer and see what we've got and I'm sure uh, most people do this what I did I printed the uh, schematic for the uh, 402 because just looking again at the uh, radio cabinet, that's what I thought the uh, radio to be. But uh, I don't think that's going to be uh, correct. So I'm going to just use the uh, back of the schematic here. And I'm going to document the uh, tubes. So I'll have the uh, layout as we go. So uh, this is the rectifier here, the uh, 35Z5. And I'll just go ahead and note that in its position. see any markings here on this tube okay I don't see anything uh, we'll take a closer look at this one in just a minute and it's actually marked there well, look at it closer yeah it is right on the tube socket itself Let's see if it shows up on uh, camera you guys can see that so this is the uh, 50L6 that's going to be the uh, output uh, power tube if, I, if I'm correct on that and um, a 12 SK7 and it's marked and then uh, one last tube here it's got a miniature base on it And I don't see a number on it. Oh, there it is. The uh, twelve eighty six, I believe. That's what I'll jot down for now anyway. We'll take a closer look at it. All right, let's try to match this uh, schematic up real quick. Okay, I'm back. The chassis is definitely not a uh, Arvin 402. Um, it doesn't match up. What's throwing me off is this uh, miniature tube right here. The uh, 12 AT6, which I think is equivalent to a 12 SQ7. So I used the uh, grillcloth.com site and uh, tried to match up the uh, tubes and uh, there was no match. So um, it looks like this model would be closer to a 444 or a 44, 
4.44 a.m. And uh, go figure, you know, I looked inside and I'm not sure if this is showing up on camera or not, but this is probably where the model tag was at one time. And uh, this is just the license number um, and information here. So nowhere on the uh, the old metal cabinet can I find the uh, model number, nor can I find it here. So um, it's possible this is not even, you know, an Arvin chassis. Again, I checked grillcloth.com and actually just put the tubes in and left the model number off and uh, don't get a match. So anybody viewing this uh, video, if you got any insight on this particular uh, chassis and if it really should belong inside this particular uh, metal cabinet, uh, please let me know. So um, anyway, I'm thinking it's probably in the 1940s. It would be odd because um, Arvin did make a uh, set like this, but they substituted all the uh, the bigger tubes for the miniature tubes, not just one. And that was in the uh, 444, 444 AM. One other thing that's interesting, you can see a repair has been done. This uh, output transformer has been uh, replaced I would assume at some point you can see here where it's been spliced and no heat shrink or anything was put over and of course you got different colored wires so that would be interesting um, I tell you this radio though uses very few uh, capacitors so um, I might uh, just go ahead and uh, move forward with the uh, just getting these swapped out see if we can get any sound out of it and I'm not going to do a full restore on it uh, not at this time anyway but uh, let's see if we can uh, make this thing play again okay when I left off I considered just doing a quick uh, recap on this thing and see if I could bring it up but uh, I'm going to forego that I can't find the uh, schematic for this particular radio which I can move forward without the uh, schematic that's not a big deal but I would like to have it and there's uh, kind of one showstopper anyway I'm not going to be able to bring it up this is the uh, 35 Z5 rectifier the 50L6 output tube and here there's a uh, what was in the radio is a uh, 12 SK7 Let's see if that shows up on camera I'm not sure if it is or not I'll rotate it around but if you look at the tube socket itself, and that may or may not be showing up on camera, it says it should be a 25B8. And that would kind of make sense if you add up the filaments for the tubes, you know, it gets you close to 122. Anyway, I went to, uh, I mentioned I went to grillcloth.com, checked, and I can't find a four tube set like this. This last tube, and maybe it's the wrong tube, but I've excluded it from the search, is a 12AT6. So I can find some uh, three tube models and some two tube models of this chassis, but not the four tube. So again, um, I'll put it down in the description. This particular Arvin radio uses, or what appears to use, a 35Z5, a 50L6, a 25B8, and a 12AT6. So if anyone's got any information on this particular uh, chassis, you've done a restore on it, uh, I'd appreciate uh, so much you dropping me a note. And when time permits, I'll probably uh, post some information as well out on the Antique Radio form and see if I get a hit there as well. So I would like to do this uh, restore at some point. By the way, this uh, volume control and on-off was seized up. And I had to uh, loosen it up. And I just used some, uh, you know, brakes loose fastener, PB, penetrating, or it's really more like an oil. But uh, it did the number on it. Got it loosened up. I couldn't even move this thing with pliers. 
So it's uh, it's as free as can be now. And again, I haven't checked it. So uh, anyway, hey, thanks for watching. I was hoping to do a hoping to do just a quick uh, repair on this stuff, a couple new capacitors in, and bring this thing back up. But uh, I don't have any uh, 25B8 tubes, and I'm pretty sure this 12SK7 is uh, not a substitute for that tube uh, based on the information that I have. So um, thanks for watching. Appreciate my new subs out there. And I hope over the next uh, couple weeks or so, I'll get back on that uh, Garrett or Garad radio uh, M33 and uh, start doing some more. So with a it. quick update here before I end the video. I was doing some more research on the 25B8 tube. And I tell you, I think I know what happened. I think this radio has been modified. I think it was a three tube. Model 402A is an alpha for the ivory cabinet. And someone has modified it and put in the 12SK7 with the 12AT6. So just some quick reading. It appears the 25B8 is really two tubes in one. I'll dig into that a little bit deeper. And someone has segmented the uh, design in uh, using uh, two, you know, different tubes. Again, a 12AT6 that's been added and the 12SK7 to um, be a substitute for the uh, rare 25B8. Anybody's got any thoughts on that uh, watching the video, please chime in, let me know. Again, I've... Uh, Never run across this before in a uh, set, so appreciate you sharing your knowledge. Thank you.